Hi, I'm Madison Decker, and on this next part of our virtual Airstream tour and show, we're in the base camp. This is a new 2020 Base Camp X with some new features that have just come out recently. Um, if you are not familiar, the Base Camp X has a couple extras like Goodyear Wrangler tires instead of endurance. It has a three inch lift. And then in the front here, it's got these rock guards. Um, it makes it so it's a little bit more um, off-road capable. Um, you can really be more dispersed and, and get away from it all. So let's go inside and look at these features here. So I've torn it up a little bit um, because the bed has changed. Um, holes used to just screw in and they're different now and they're better. So they now have covers and on these poles, which become the support for the bed, they use a tina to um, screw in. So I put this one in already. You got legs that come in. One is a table length, and the other is a smaller table length. So you could use it for like a coffee table, or you could use, or you use it to uh, set up the support for the bed. So I've popped this off, and I've when these are stored, you want to screw in this tina like this. But I've unscrewed it already. So you line this up and then just screw it in clockwise and that tightens that nut up in there and so it's sturdier. The table tops are really similar to how they used to be. And sit on top here and lock in. They changed these because they used to get stuck. The table tops used to get stuck on these legs really frequently. Um, and you'll see why I moved this big pad in a minute. Um, I'm just going to put this other tabletop on so you can see now this is kind of coffee table way. Um, and then to make it into the bed you've got this platform which is your support and then you actually want to not fall through the cracks. So that's what this is for. And in this, in like the newest versions they have a half bed setup so you can have um, more usable space or only one person sleeping at a time. Under these, on this side, the door side, which we also call the curb side, um, you have storage. And that's where these legs go. They clip in here. You can see one of the longer legs, as well as the visor that goes outside. And then Velcro on here for the pads. So when you set this up as the bed, you flip those out, then you move this pad back on. I always move the pads out just because it makes it a little easier to do all the flipping. But some people can do it without, but they're just trickier than I am. Could you try again? And for the headspace, headboards are up here in your vertical storage space. So these both slide in right here. And I suppose this could be your footboard. I want to have this be my feet go. Which is actually, my husband and I have tested how we fit in here. And we fit better with our heads at the top. There, our heads at the bottom. A lot of people sleep with their heads at the top here. But that's what's so great is that this bed is so big when it's all set up. But there's lots of options. So, I like to lay it like this. Oh, actually, in this new model, you've got a button here. So you'll want to down. That'll... So this is half the bed. You'll do the same thing on this side, but you'll notice on this side, which we call the road side, it is on the road side. You don't have any pull-up storage. That is because under here is Truma is your furnace and your water heater. I'll go over that in a little bit. When all this is said and done, you've got 76 by 76. So it's a lot of room. Some people will even put three like people in here, two adults and a child. And you fit really well. And we use sleeping bags. Um, you could The sleeping bags seem to be the easiest and most um, stowable. All of our base camps that we order, we order with the air conditioner. Two solar panels, which also upgrades your batteries to a Group 24 AGM and a microwave. 
Um, we can order it without that, but as a standard, we've noticed that a lot of people really like those things, especially the solar when you're going to be off grid. Um, I'm going to move over to this Truma system here. So this is where you control all of this. Um, you're able to control the temperature inside the unit, the water temperature, and how it's powered. What's cool about this is it makes it a on-demand water heater and it's really efficient at using energy and you can use propane to, to power it or you can use um, electricity. And then this you may have seen on other units is the same. The brand is sea level and it um, is how you monitor your tanks and your battery. A lot of people get confused because this says level and percent, but your battery is shown in volts. So a lot of people will ask me, why is my battery only charging to 13%? It's because this is a little misleading. Your battery's in volts, but your water tanks are in percentage. So we've just tested this, make sure all the systems are working. So your black gray combination tank is a little bit full. And that tank is 29 gallons, and then your fresh water tank is 20 gallons. This is also where you'll turn on the water pump to give pressure to water in the water tank to come up to the tap. So that's the bed and the interior here. You've also got a really cool feature that I love on this is so these tank heaters use electricity to their tanks it's like a heating pad on there and it makes it so that you can go to cooler temperatures and um, not freeze anything so i've talked to um someone in at airstream corporate he was the he's the i think he's the vp of travel trailers and he's used to base camp at um negative 15 degrees he was skiing and so I feel really comfortable telling people they can go to negative 15 because he's used it and um, and he really liked it. So a lot of skiers like this um, because of that and because you've probably noticed this back door is open. When all of this is put away like it was in the beginning, you can put skis down the middle or even a bike. Um, I think a one person kayak will fit and a paddle board. And there are tie downs on the bottom on the floor here. And um, so they'll secure it as well as um, use the bungees that hold the tabletops in place, they can actually be used as tie downs. Um, so let's go outside, unless you think I should go over some other things. Oh yeah, sorry. So let's do the stove top. They make everything really nice up front so that when these are undone, you've got a great panorama view and tons of um, counter space. This is like one of the best counter space in even like really large trailers. So you've got your two burner uh, propane stove. And this, just make sure when you're using these that your pot is not too big. That's just a, a recommendation from Airstream. And it lights a lot like any other stove. You set it to light and you spark it. You can make whatever you want on your stove top that way. I really like gas powered items, especially in the base camp, because I can use them without a generator. Where with the microwave and the air conditioner, you need more power than the batteries can supply. You'll want to have a generator, and we often sell two generators uh, together. They're smaller Yamahas, and we chain them together so that they're really easy to move around, and they're really quiet. Um, also up here is where your faucet lives. This is the faucet for both the bathroom and the kitchen because there's not a whole lot of room in the bathroom that I'll show you in a minute. Um, you want to make sure that you move this, which is, I don't even know what I'd call this, to turn it on. You want to make sure it's pointed down so that when you close this, you don't turn on the faucet on accident. You've also got power strips up here. So there's one of these here and up here. And they've got, uh, they're both 120 or 110 volt power. Where there are other, there's two USB ports down here that's probably kind of hard to see. And there's two um, down towards this end here. Um, and those all work on your battery so you can charge up your phones or your iPad or whatever you bring. So in the bathroom, this is what. A lot of people will call this like a wet bath or I, I don't know a, a European bath or that kind of thing it's really efficient long showers but in the base camp 
that's kind of the idea is a lot of adventure you don't have a lot of time for a luxurious shower and to make that easier they put this switch on the shower head and this is actually in every airstream um, so you can turn off the flow of the water right here so you can rinse down lather up and then um, rinse down again while saving hot water and just water in general you've also got in here a um, clothesline so this is a it's pretty standard uh, you pull it out from the base here and it clips in you can also change tension at the base by twisting the by like doing the righty tighty lefty loosey on this uh i wouldn't it's not like hanging towels you know it's very much like a clothesline and so for hanging towels to dry you want to put that up here um, also up top this is that all airstreams have and it's a, a vent fan that's in all the bathrooms to make this work and it does work off of your batteries you push up on this handle and it sucks air out so you don't get too much condensation in here and that's something that you would use whether you're using the restroom or taking a shower that like the overall um, wear and tear on your trailer is less so you'll notice right here is a little gray door and that is so you can pull through door shower and that's also why these uh, reach through and and turn everything on and of course got to cover up your toilet paper and the bathroom light is actually all the lights in here are right at the entrance so you got your bathroom light bedroom light kitchen light and then this is an exterior light You can also lock this from the inside. There's a little switch. This is something I discovered recently. And then, yeah. Another fan that you have, this is also uh, a lot like the fan in here, and it pulls air out. So when I'm, you know, kind of off the beaten path, don't want to be plugged into a generator, but it's warm in here, open this up, and it's got three settings. And it just sucks air out. So I'll crack open one of the windows and it'll just start moving air around. And it works really, really well. People worry that because these are uh, metal that they are not well insulated, but they are really well insulated. And I've in fact actually been pretty warm. It was, it was in Wyoming in the mountains in September. And so it was pretty cool outside, but I was pretty warm in here. And I used this and it moved the air really well. In here, is storage and every airstream has a place for your cutlery and that goes up here this is also important because this is where your batteries will live and that's back in here so you've got your two um, 12 volt AGM batteries AGM batteries are awesome because they are um, fully enclosed so you don't have to put distilled water in them um, for upkeep and that's why they can be back here and screwed away and to get in here and to access them you can see like where you can this hole is to pull the panel you'll take off these screw covers and just unscrew them and you'll be able to in there and if you wanted to switch out batteries put in lithium or anything like that which is an awesome thing to do um, you can do it there mm -hmm. got right here um, every airstream has a propane gas detector to make sure that um, you're not having a leak in here and then this is your battery disconnect which you may have and it totally disconnects everything from your batteries and this is for going into storage you're not going to be using it for a long time and you can um, keep your batteries from draining for no reason and we can go outside here uh, a cool feature that's been added recently um, is this door now has a latch to hold it open so it didn't used to be the case but now when you open it it won't blow around because this does have a screen um, you can keep it open for long periods of time and not worry about the door rattling about you've also got your spare tire down here and you get a um, it's actually a lug wrench that you can use for your tires but it will also go in here to lower your spare tire and it is full size and then 
you've got a lot of your standard stuff back here. The real big difference is that the base camp has a gray and black water tank that's combined. And so it's larger. Um, and so because those are mixing, there's also not a um, flush uh, for the black tank. So you, there's just one valve and no flush because it's mixing with water. And it's a really standard pull the valve, it's a flapper valve, and it'll empty it. You got a little bit of exterior storage. This is that outdoor shower. And then up front, you've got a little bit more storage where you can keep your power cord. And this is for your stabilizer jacks. And under here is where your propane tanks live. So this is the new Face Camp X. This lists at um, $45,234. Um, and today we are giving away, with the purchase of an Airstream, we're giving away a Weber grill. And we are also entering, you'll be entered into a raffle to win an equalizer hitch, um, which we do recommend with, with a lot of our trailers to add safety. I hope you're enjoying it and stick around for more.